This video will be for beginners, for those who are still starting mobile repairing, but even if you are not a beginner, maybe you are missing this. So, for example, if you are trying to change this connector, or maybe you just receive a phone with this connector and uh, the connector came out and all the, pin the pins are peeled off. A lot of technicians, and I always see posts online asking what they should do the, the, the coin or the solder coin peeled off the PCB. What can they do? For you to be a mobile phone technician, if you don't know what to do in these cases, then yeah, you still need to learn. And that's why I'm giving you this lesson right here, which will be very short. For example, if you want to work on this particular pin, this little pin, and it peels off, which means that this area will be like this one, and you won't see no area to solder the, the pin anymore. Instead of going online to ask for help, you need to know how to track the lines track the tracks on the PCB, which means that all you have to do, you can see this track is clearly connected. It was clearly connected here, which means that even if it kills off right here, you will still see and follow the track, which means that you can just create this place using your blade then solder a cable, then jumper it here and everything will be good. Or you can see the jumper point from here. You can just link a cable from here to this area, which this is normally the battery ID of this battery connector. You understand? So if this area peels off, you can see, you can see this big track right here, which is connected to this point. And this point should be the VBAT jumper point of this mobile PCB, which means that if this area peels off, you can see the track. It's very big. You can see the track from here. You can just link a cable, link the VBAT from here, then jumper it to the battery connector. Same goes to this one. You can see the big track, which this will be for the GND of the mobile PCB. You will see that the GND is separated and not connected to this other GND. It means that the GND surely passes through. Not surely. It passes through a low value resistor, a fused resistor, before it connects to the GND. So let me show you an example from here. And this area, this area in this main connector right here, Will be that of the VBUS line. So if this peels up right here, all you have to do instead of going into the PCB checking capacitors that the VBUS is connected to, so you can just scrape this place with your blade, connect the cable, then link it here when you replace the connector, and everything will be good. So what about these other ones? Because the method that I'm giving you right here, you can use this method in any section, in every section. For example, if you want to replace this antenna socket here. You want to replace the antenna socket the line peels off which you can see we have the main line all you have to do you can see the track clearly solder a cable here then connect it to the middle pin of the antenna socket very simple and very smooth and for these other ones you can see that they are connected to jnz you can connect it link a cable anywhere that you see that it's jnz and everything will be good okay so what about this area you can see a lot of pins but you can you cannot see the track that they are connected to. In this area, you will need schematic diagram. So you will need the PCB guideline that will easily show you where these lines are connected to. Though some, you won't see all the lines. But with a schematic diagram and a bit mapping, you will easily know where all these pins are connected to. Some pins here are not connected at all. You understand, which means that even if they peel off, you won't have to bother about that when you are changing this connector. But for the ones that you cannot clearly see the track, you can just use your schematic diagram or your bit, bit mapping to know. But for these smaller ones, you can see we have small tracks here, which means that if it kills off from here, you can scrape this place using your blade, then jump a cable. For these two ones, you can see they have some jumper points here. And just like that, very simple. So if you want my courses, you want to learn how to troubleshoot do micro solving, you can send me a message on WhatsApp and get my courses with a huge discount right now before the discount expires. Or check the video, the link in the video description. Get my courses from the link or from the link on my bio. So thank you and follow for more amazing videos.